Welcome back, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and we are playing God of War on the PS4. And in our last episode, we met the witch. We almost killed her pig, and uh, she gave us a boat. So if that all sounds strange and you have no idea what I'm talking about, you should probably go back to either the last episode or the beginning of the series. Check out the link right here. And we are now underway in our happy little boat. All right. We are going on a little voyage. Absolutely loving the game so far. Everything from the one continuous shot for the entire game to the gameplay, the graphics, it's all wonderful. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, she stinks. <laughs> the fact that they just create all this just for a little boat ride. I like the attention to detail and the commitment to what that. they're doing. It's Thor. Thor. God of Thunder. That's right. I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Balder. 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 Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? Let's go check out Thor here. So by the sound of it, Balder might very well be the Norse god who we faced in episode three, The Stranger. This is a fairly large area here. I'm curious if there's anything else to find. If I find anything, I'll, I'll fast forward to that. Otherwise, we'll just go to the objective. Uh, okay. What is that? Is that a wall? Made out of... What are those? Don't answer that. It looks like scales. been sailing around for several minutes now and this is the first thing I've found was this giant scaly possible wall thing I don't know what that is is that a creature I think we're gonna go ahead and I think we're coming back up on Thor already so uh, I've made my way all the way around here and found really that there's not much to be found and so we're gonna make our way over to the marker here and see what's in the middle of this lake. Glad to have you guys with us, by the way. Thank you for joining. We are closing in on our I think I see something. marker. Just sitting there in the middle of the lake. Okay, there's a glowing statue out here. We already found a statue of Thor. So who is this? I see rooms there. This chest. Can't quite make it out. Oh, there's something to read here. It reads, Sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you going to do it? Hmm. I can magically recall my axe, so it's not like this is a big deal. The axe did not return. Which is not a good sign. Hey, that looks like that wall. Hang on, boy. Okay. Holy smokes. What is this? Oh, crap.
our, our, our weapon was imbued. wasn't there before see and there's the mountain look it that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple it was all just under the surface except for the statue good thing huh there's even a dock there next to the flag we're going to the dock first right we'll be the first people to walk on it and who knows how long you know of that serpent he's one of the giants He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looks pretty big to me. Oh, good. I was hoping we might explore a little. When we wish to continue our journey, we know to return here. Okay. So, I don't know if there's any other place to go except for that one area where the boat was could be docked. I'm gonna row around a little bit here and see what we find. What happened here? Shipwreck. Well, yeah. I wonder why it crashed. There is something on that ship. I just want to know how we throw our weapon. Because that's one of those crows that we need to hit. Well, it doesn't seem like we can do that now, just the same way we couldn't get to some of those chests in, um, right below the witch's house. It looks like we're going to be able to walk or swim out here at some point, because that would look like an enemy right at the water's surface. Hey, we can dock here. Oh. A new place to dock. Why does hey, this look, look really a torch. A torch is ominous? Built of wood. That is a brazier. A brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Okay. Bye. Those things are purple to us. And it heals you as well. Don't be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of most are able to move on from this realm, 
But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, Spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Okay. So that was a wayward spirit. Let's see. Versatile warrior's handle increases strength, defense, and luck. Oh, he disappeared. Seems like a good deal to me. All right. Here. Come. Let us not be distracted. Glad that so, we. I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. There's another one of those. Owls that we need to go back and kill as soon as we figure out how we can do anything from our boat or find a landing spot within eyesight of that. Now here's another dock. I'm glad we took the time to explore around here. It's like we can go up or we can just check down here though it doesn't look like there's anything here to find so up we go on my back boy hey it's another brazier I suppose you wish to light it can I yeah go ahead boy <laughs> We are certifiably bad donkey here. Nice shot. the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy. I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. All right, that's the second of four, and a mystic remnant of a soul lost at sea used to upgrade the versatile warrior's handle. All right. Well. I don't know exactly how we upgrade it. It's probably at the, um, at an armor. All right, so we're going to power up Atreus a little more. I feel like I'm plenty powerful, and him being able to aid us more in combat sounds like a really good thing. And we'll put a little bit into Kratos here. And we want to be able to to break an enemy's block that's actually really useful so that's a good step forward 
I wish there's a way to get down there. I don't think this is gonna work, but. Our axe cannot seem to reach that far. Ah, oh, we got a chest here. There's a, another chest up here we can't get to. So many uh, questions left unanswered. So many puzzles. We will have to return. Roy, what did I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can't we this just... is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. The world serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. Okay. So this is the time where it's good to look at our map. Take a look. Okay, that's where we are. So this right here. That's our eventual goal. Perhaps there's another spirit over this way. That world serpent is a pretty amazingly large foe. Or not foe, but creature, whatever. I see there's the the whole active parry thing. I'm out of breath. Well? Well what? The brazier? If you must. All right, so over here we have another one of these. So we got to find the three things. This looks like that's probably one of them. Oh, there's one. Oh, this is good. There we go. Nah. Never trust those things. So what's up here? There's a whole separate little area, I guess. Up here, and hey, there's treasure. And more treasure. Hey, that could be valuable. What have we here? Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. The realm of fire. So we unlocked a new realm. That was one of four Muspelheim ciphers. So I guess Muspelheim unlocks after we find four of those, perhaps? There we go. That's a little tricky. The right angle helps, though. All right, another apple. Apples of a dune. I'm sure there's another spirit here we can help. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Gvegia. <laughs> Die! 
good shot, boy. There we go. <laughs> well done, boys. Never thought I'd see a scrap like that again. What do you want? To thank you. These dead reavers drowned me many winters ago. And I've been itching to see them get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple. But I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one, with tattoos. Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Okay, and this... Well, we can't expect them all to know something useful. There's only one more of these guys to find here, so... Maybe the next one will have more information. Let's push off to see. Expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. It seems to me that Kratos would find a great many things annoying. I wonder if the World Serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here. Oh, is this a dock? Let's take a look at our map here, just to... Let's see what's here. This is pretty fancy. Oh, how did that happen? These guys are purple to you, but who cares when you can just punch the snot out of them? You will improve with practice. Worth a shot. I can't read these either. But they're different from the others. Ah, oh, more of those. Good. So that's where we came from. I can't translate this without the whole cipher. And there is another boat. That's interesting. And there's another area that you can get to if you had a way to get down there. It becomes very clear that finding all the secrets in this game is going to be of paramount importance to really unlocking everything you want. I'm really starting to like more and more the scope of this. It felt at first more of a linear game, and I'm starting to realize that there is a certain open world aesthetic to this. And I'm guessing this will open up later. There's another bird up on top of that thing. This is a boat dock similar to the last one that we found. What is that? We'll look at that in a moment. Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language disk. So what happens if we do this? Oh. 
What the snot? We got one shot right there. They're here and there. But we need the rest of the language disc. I'm gonna save this little thing right here because the enemies that came out of that one shot me two times in a row, and that means I am not nearly ready for that. Those guys. And that and then the fact that I can't even hardly damage them. I was kind of plinking away. I mean, we got probably like 5-10% off of one of the three of them. Doable, but I feel like I'd sit here for an hour. And that's not what I'm looking to do right now. So, off we go. Wow. I've never seen a waterfall so big. So I heard another owl back there. I want to dock my boat, please. There we go. The stone falls. Here, boy. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Maybe a treasure? Treasure map. I could do with the treasure map. So what would the significance of closing that be? Something we're missing here, clearly. That's it, lady. <laughs> or creature. Interesting. He's immune to the blunt damage of the arrows. Not that it's blunt blunt, but... <laughs> Usually arrows can damage things that my axe can't. And my axe was damaging things that my arrows couldn't. Okay, so to open that, we probably have to have something that can destroy. Goodness. I can already tell this is going to be a whole thing of backtracking to get all kinds of power-ups later on. And I really don't see how we're going to get back here to this, except, I don't know. Maybe we can see a way to, yes we can. And now we can try to work around. Maybe lowering this gate right here will raise the other two. That would be the ideal. Come and face me, God of Thunder! Well, now. You got it. 
Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Okay, destroy the statue of Thor. Why do you Thor. Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. All right. So indeed, we were able to go around and get access to all these happy treasure chests. A lot of hacks over and world serpent scale fragments. And this rare talisman activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also has a passive effect that increases the timing window on parries and greatly increases defense while when blocking. It's a nice talisman. We hadn't equipped one yet, so should have done that earlier anyway. All right, it looks like we head back now. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor for that monstrous So he wants us to destroy the statue of Thor on an island to the east. That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Let his story be a reminder. The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. So this is a new area. I don't know how expansive this is. is pretty sizable. Should we dock on this beach? Hey, there's our friend who gives us upgrades. Hooray. You know what, let's read this. Look here. Sir. Vathergar. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. Yeah, I thought that might just be for lore. There we go. Hey, Brock, you ever hear of a Dwarf King? I suppose you're talking about Motsignir? Some bitch ruled over the humans once lived in this area. Built itself a castle just north of here. A Dwarven castle? What's it like? You got yourself a pair of eyes and legs, ain't you? Might want to stock up before you head that way, though. Old Motsignir's known for collecting all manner of killering creatures. Not <laughs> sure who's looking after them now. 
Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that <laughs> footlicker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was put the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road! Sorry. Sure, that'll keep you out of trouble. We'll go a little balanced here. All right, we're just gonna peek around the corner if this isn't just a quick area to explore, which it looks like it's not. We're gonna go back here and we're gonna go try to find the last one of those uh, giants, not giants, but spirit challenges. And then we're gonna call it for our video. Hope you guys are enjoying everything. If you are, make sure to shoot us a thumbs up. I am absolutely having a blast with this game. I love the story, I love the characters. And, uh, I don't know, it's just such a different tone. Um, and it, it's very obviously turning into almost a Metroidvania kind of experience with hack and slash and great story and one continuous view. Just uh, very impressed with the game overall. So, uh, also, love hearing from you guys in the comments. That's why we do this. We love having community with you guys. So, um, make sure if you want to reach out, we'd love to hear from you and we'll get back to you pretty quick. And uh, above all, please subscribe to the channel. We will keep plenty more action coming your way. Right now, we are continuing to post our videos about on um, Far Cry 5. I've finished the game, but it's going to take a while to get all those videos edited and up there. I think it's about 35 total, roughly, from what I counted. And we better look at the map. I think this is where we originally came from, possibly. Well, I don't know. This is a hidden area that we discovered. I don't know how big of an area this is. There we go. Another raven down. I'm hoping this is just a small little one-off area. But I'm starting to think that possibly it's not. Oh we'll boy. see. There's so much to find in this game. I love the sense of exploration here. Here. Boy. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. Oh, he's got a quest for us? To work it is. Hey, nobody's twisting your arm. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? <laughs> Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Sure, I'm open. The Velander Mines is right through these doors. Might as well have a look-see inside, don't you think? Hope 
you got what you wanted. <laughs> that gives you plenty of moolah. What you need. We'll be able to shoot arrows with Atreus more frequently. So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Can you read it? Yes, sir. Uh, these runes read death inside. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If when you're smart, you'll find him. Okay, so that's going to be another quest for next time. I really just want to make my way around the lake. We found two areas that seem to be fairly massive in uh, size. Uh, I don't know if each one's going to warrant its own video, but at least we'll come back to those in our next one. We've upgraded ourselves pretty well here. So we're continuing our way around the lake. And I want to see if we've found everything that there is to find. We've got two new areas for our next video before we even continue on with the main quest. And who knows, having seen the World Serpent here, who knows what's going to be coming our way. Gosh, another hidden area. a little better with those guys out of the picture don't mind oh gosh I just realized this is a big old giant of some no. sort no. look here no. ah. all right so this is a little tricky boy yes sir I don't like this giant here kind of freaks me out what is coming? Here we go. Alright, let's go over here and see if this beastie here... <laughs> there you go. Save the boy. You, I must speak with you. Another spirit who wants something from us. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? 
We cannot undo your mistakes, Spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. The boy is learning. You are learning. Why didn't you or mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? Then why are we exploring wow. all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. That little buried treasure we found there was 3,400 hack silver. That's a huge difference from what we normally find here. I think we've worked our way all the way around here. I could be wrong, so we're going to check up here real quick. See what there is. Well, this is new. Can't make it up this side, perhaps the other side. Want to run over these barrels where we can. Gives you more money. Nope, this is yet another area. I hear the bird. Where is the owl? He got one. These guys are more annoying than anything. Look here. Sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. we go. Slightly tricky, but still not too bad. Oh, another apple. Oh, man. We're one of those away from getting our second upgrade. So I guess we can't climb up there. I thought that would be a place to go. But perhaps later in the game... Yet one more place for us to come back to. And back out to see we go. You would miss a, and a whole lot in this game if you just went linearly through everything. There is so much to find. Some statue. Who built you, Ethan? I do not know. Okay, I just saw found that owl. He was like straight up from where we were. It docked and that's why I didn't see him right off. Ooh. 
There we go. That was a tricky one. But we got him. Took a good number of tries. This is interesting. Okay, this is where we came from, the witch's cave. So this isn't a secret area, this is where we entered the Lake of Nine. And all of this thus far has been if you go clockwise around the lake. I want to check this area out to see if there's any place to dock. Aha, a new do boat dock has been found. And we do have a way up as well. What are we going to find up here? That's one of my questions. Perhaps we have been up here already, or perhaps this is just going to be overly difficult. There we go, another raven killed. So perhaps there are just ways to kill all those from where we stand. One more for the collection. I can't translate this without the whole cipher. Let's see what comes out of this. Here we go. Okay. One shot enemies again. We're going to head back down because the enemies that spawn up there are way too difficult for us right now. It's possible to beat them, but it's not probable, I guess. So it seems that we're missing some piece of the puzzle to be able to go ashore here as well. So we'll have to come back here later once we've gotten some more upgrades or unlocked some more areas. And that'll let us be able to get that guy as well. The bird flying up there, the owl. We've made our way all the way around the lake. In our next episode, we're going to start tackling the side areas that we found uh, before we move on to the central mission. Hope you got... Oh, we got some gold out of that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said before, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and I am out of here.